What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so... It is finally time to go to the Seafoam Islands right here. Not only are we going to encounter some pretty cool Pokemon, but of course, we're going to just try and get to Cinnabar Island. Now, one of our missions is to get to uh, Articuno right here, because, yeah, it's still roaming around right here somewhere. As you can see, they did a great job with the Seafoam Islands aesthetics and stuff, and damn. Look at that. Just out of nowhere, a dugong just pops. And, well, I am not trying to capture that guy right now, but I'm trying to get this item right here. And here we found an ice heal, which is good. And, uh, like I said, uh, like I said in the last few episodes, I will be doing, uh, I will be capturing most of these Pokemon, uh, off screen, mainly because I do not want to waste any of my Ultra Balls right now. Even when pushing the blocks with strong push, Pokemon can get it in the way. When it happens, I use Repel so I can get back to pushing with no problem. This is true, so what we're going to do right now is we're just going to try and make sure that these Pokemon do not get in our way here. Definitely don't want that, and crap. Wow, I should have bought more repels. Screw it! Maximum effort. Let's go ahead and uh, use the strong push technique right here. That's right. Alright, so right here Pikachu's got his Ultra Instinct on. And there we go. Block goes in there. And, uh, well, we're going to try and keep away these uh, Pokemon. Especially when we're trying to push these blocks. So, let's see. There is a Master Trainer. Or a Coach Trainer, I should say. So, let's go right ahead and... Well, let's see. Let's put Bud Kiss in, in the beginning right here. Yeah, I know, I know. I forgot to switch out my Pokemon. But, you know what? I kind of want to battle uh, these guys... I kind of want to grow their levels just a little bit because uh, eventually I want to use some different Pokemon uh, in, in the after game. And this guy right here, Coach Trainer Yas, wants to battle. And he is coming out with a Jolteon. And this Jolteon's looking mean right now. So let's go right ahead and use Budkiss right here. And this Pokemon's a little bit overpowered. So let's go right ahead and just flamethrower this guy's ass. And oh god, here comes a Thunder Attack. Oh jeez. So that right there was not cool. And just like that, we get the first hit, but it wasn't enough. So we're going to have to go to tank right here. Just because it's a little bit stronger. It's way strong. I should, Yeah, we're trying to get this Pokemon to level 60 right here. So here we go, tank. And here we have another thunder attack. I don't think Thick Fat, uh, or Dick, Thick Fat uh, works on... Uh, look at that. Yep, it doesn't work on paralysis, so we're kind of screwed right now. Alright, body slam this kid. Alrighty, come on. So here we go again, another thunder attack. You know, you can't keep on thundering me away, right? At some point, you're going to have to uh, stop. So here we go, body slam. For the win, suck at Jolteon. Oh yes. Oh yeah, we're getting some points right here, and Raichu grows to level 31. And he's going to be coming out with a Flareon. Do I have a... No, I don't. Okay, so we're just going to have to stick with uh, the same Pokemon right here. So here we have Flareon. And... We're... Oh crap, I had Surf. Never mind. This guy's using Flare Blitz, and that right there just doesn't do much. But here we go, we're getting Paralysis or something like that, so... Let's go ahead and waste a turn and just uh, heal our Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Do you have a Hyper Potion? Do you have a Max Potion? So, let's go ahead and use a Max Potion right here. And then let's use a Full Heal because I think Thick Fat does not uh, get affected by uh, burns or anything like that. So, here we go again with another Burn or a Flare Blitz. And, yeah, that right there is not good. We're probably going to have to attack right now, so let's go with the Surf Attack right here. Come on, bring it on again. Flare Blitz. Probably the only move that it can use, and look at that. So here we go, Surf Attack. For the win. Suck it, Flareon. Look at that. Okay, so that is another Pokemon down right there. And now, we're going to be taking on this Vaporeon right here. So, luckily for us, we do have Sparky on the team, so we can just beat this guy quickly. Let's go switch out our Pokemon. Alright, Sparky. We can do this, right? 
We can. We can do this. So here he is, a Vaporeon looking all mermaidy and all that crud. So, time to take a Thunderbolt. Look at this. Overpowered and everything. Eat it. Oh, wow. Vaporeon still alive. And here comes its Hydro Pump. And that's a big old bam right there. Takes a good amount, but guess what? My Pikachu is the strongest one in the whole region, so time to take this Thunderbolt yet again. And there we go. Vaporeon defeated. And, uh, well, Dubasaur grows to level 37, which is great. And Yas has been defeated. Yeah, man. Alright, so what do you have to give us? We get ourselves five rare candies. It's always great to have rare candies. And, well, first is first. We gotta switch out our Pokemon. Uh, this team... Yeah, not going to be, uh... Well, actually, I don't think we're going to be battling some Pokemon right here. So, or battling some trainers. So, let's just heal our Pokemon. There we go. And let's go with Sparky right here. And let's go with Tank. Of course, we're going to need, like, a lot more than just... A lot more than just one or two. There we go. Four Super Potions. It's going to take five Super Potions right there. And wrong one. Let's go with uh, Tank. So, there we go. We are complete. Now let's move on right here and grab some items. And here we have another one right here. So let's see what this is. Escape rope. Alrighty. So the escape rope's right there. And I wonder what this guy is. <laughs> I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Sure. There's always a guy in a cave right here. And we need to push this little sucker right here. So let's see. Push this. There we go. And there we go. We're going to just keep on pushing away right here. Look at that. Oh, wow. We almost fell into the hole. Now, this place actually... Oh, wait. We can't push it in that direction. Okay, so let's go right again. And there we go. Right here. And that makes two. So I'm pretty sure we took away... Actually, let's go with no right here. Now that there's no stones involved. And let's see where else we can go. Okay, so we found an item. And this one is five great balls. Kind of foreshadowing what's about to come. Let's try this again. Okay, right here. The great thing about uh, this push attack is that, you know, it stays on you until, I guess, I don't know, probably after the battle or something? No. Well, until you leave the whole place right here, so. Let's get the heck out of here and move on to the next section of this whole place. And, of course, there's going to be a lot of Zubats in here. So, you just got just to keep an eye out for those guys. And, let's see. We are in another room right here. I am trying to find that stone that I just uh, sunk in here. So there we go. Grab ourselves a super repel. So that will actually help us out. And let's see. There is the boulder that we just pushed. So let's go right ahead and push this little sucker right here. There we go. And I think the other stone should be going down there. Probably. I don't know. Alright. So there's two slow pokes. There's an item right there. We're... We probably should just go get the items and stuff and just be careful for these Zubats right here because they will try and corner you in every in every turn. So let's grab this and here we have a Max Potion. Alrighty, so let's go right downstairs right here. And what do we have? What do we have here? Oh, look at that. A little seal and a gold bat. Definitely don't want to mess with these guys right now. And here we have the stone that we just pushed off. So there's two stones. Okay, so that right there is taken care of. I think that's the last one of them. Or the last of, uh, you know, the section right here. And again, there will be Pokemon around here just trying to attack you. It's best to carry a few repels just to make sure these Pokemon don't get to you uh, while you're moving the stones. Because, you know, as the lady said, yeah, they will get to you. And what is here? Nothing. Hmm. What about here? Nothing. Okay. So let's go right ahead and get the F out of here. And, uh, well, let's see. Here's a new section, and what is... Okay, so we can get up there. We can grab this item. There is a Jinx right there. Hmm. And we found ourselves a TM55 Ice Beam. Very, very good item for us, just so we can... Uh, and stuff. So let's go down right here and see where this stone is leading us. And there they are. Here we have the X Speed. And what else can we find right here? Another item. Oh, wow. 
nearly got hit by that guy and as you can see the guy and as you can see the stones are going to be used to make sure to slow down this uh the stream right here it's just like the old versions where you just have to move them and just slow them down just to get the heck out on the other side of the uh the island and uh, well let's see pikachu is talking to me the heck sparky feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid it's okay buddy it's okay all right you need to eat buddy Kind of getting a little small there, so let's go right ahead and use this guy right here. Come on. There we go. Come on, eat, eat, eat. There we go. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Good boy, Sparky. Okay. So, let's grab this item right here. And as you can see, we cannot go through this stream just yet because it's going a little too fast for us. And, well, this is probably the section where you're going to find Articuno. Only problem is that you can't get to it just yet. No problem. We're just going to grab items. And uh, look at that. We found ourselves another big pearl, which could be used for big money and all that stuff, which we kind of do need if we're going to, like, you know, capture all these Pokemon and all that stuff. So let's see. There's a uh, Zubat or a Golbat ready to attack us right there. Do not want that. And going upstairs right here. Actually, I think I've already. Oh, look at that. Okay. So right here, push that. And we slow down a stream, I believe. I don't know. And I see that there's an item close by here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so... Let's see. I'm trying to find this item. There it is. Okay, so we found ourselves a hard scale. Very good for us, and there's two slowpokes in the way. Do not want to mess with those guys. And let's see, we're gonna have to go back. And where are we now? Okay, so oh wow, didn't mean to do that. Pikachu will always try and communicate with you just because it feels Articuno nearby. And well, let's see, I'm not gonna talk to you right now, Pikachu. I already know Articuno scary AF, you know, it's right over there somewhere. So we're going to have to go up top right here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we're here. And now we're gonna just going to have to uh, move those boulders. Just slow down where Articuno's at. We can actually surf right here too if we wanted to. Which, you know what? We're probably going to do right after the whole Articuno event. So let's go right ahead and take care of this section. Okay, so first is first. We're going to have to move this boulder right here. So that's one. And let's see. We're gonna have to push this away. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely push this away right here. This one is not going anywhere except for right here. One more. Okay, so we pushed that away. Now we gotta push this one up top. One more. There we go. And Pikachu, use your strength one more time right here and look at this okay press it one more time let's go right here and uh oh oh my god god dang it so we fell into the water and we're forced to get back into the same spot right here stream is too quick so again we're gonna have to go back and work onto that stone area right there again good god okay Jesus, okay, so now we have to go back down right here. And everything's been resetted, so I'm a little I'm a little irritated by that. Okay. Come on. Press this on right here. Okay, so no need to uh, move it forward any further or anything like that. So let's go ahead and press this again. And press this down. Let's go. Right here. And... Look at that. Okay, so we're continuing on right here. Please do not fall into the, the the hole again. And look at that. Okay, so now... Bam! So that's number two. We can actually fall into the hole now. And so... <laughs> it is time for us to actually go straight to Articuno. Look at that. We found ourselves an item and uh, an Articuno. Look at that. Big Pearl. Okay, so Articuno is roosting right there. I don't think there's anything else right here except for, you know, Pikachu kind of just uh, scared. What the heck's going on? Sparky feels attention in the air. Okay. 
So, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to save this game right here because I do not want to screw this up. And as, if you guys remember from our Zapdos game, uh, play, we actually have to go up against this Pokemon. Uh, we have to beat it first in order to capture it. So, we're going to go with Sparky here. And there's Articuno looking all majestic as you know what. It's time. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And there's Articuno, ready to take us on. So, here it is. And Articuno has appeared, and its stats has risen. Of course, Articuno is an ice and uh, fire fighting type po or flying type Pokemon. So the best way to beat it is with your uh, Pikachu right here, since it is a, an electric type Pokemon. So, bam. Now, remember, if you make it, if you lower its HP all the way down to zero, you will be able to capture him right afterwards. And well, let's see. We gotta go again with another Splissy or another uh, Thunderbolt. And we almost defeat this guy right here. And here comes an Ice Beam. Holy bejeebus. And that one just really, it really hits us hard. So, one more Ice Beam or one more Thunderbolt for the win right here. And there it is. We are now able to capture this guy. Okay, so here it is, Articuno. We need to actually use berries to capture this guy right here, so I'm gonna try and get this guy with a uh, Nanab. Here we go. Tossing that, it is a great, come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. The last time I captured a Pokemon, it was through a silver or a golden Nanab berry, I think. Uh, Columns, we'll try to catch and giving it to them. Okay, so. How about Golden? Barry calms a wild Pokemon trying to catch him. It distract drastically gives him when dry. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try and use these and use these berries right here. It's just this freaking Articuno needs to just stop moving. And here we go. There it is. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, so this Pokemon is. Oh god, okay. So this guy has been really on my like it's been on my case since the original days because it doesn't want to get captured by me it usually is the ice type pokemon that's just hard and here we go oh my god nearly got him okay so let's go with another one another one of these ba berries so silver nana berry right here there we go and it's a great one right here come on stay in the ball stay in the goddamn ball Stand ball! Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so this Pokemon does not want to get captured, but hey, I'm throwing as many Ultra Balls as possible right here. Two, three, come on! Oh, nearly got him. All right, time to use the big guns. A Golden Nana Berry should probably do it. Here we go. And come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. God dang it. There we go. And there it is. I'm kept. I'm trying to catch this guy quickly before he just like starts flying side to side here. And damn it! Okay, so let's see. What's another Pokemon? Okay, the Pinat Berry. Here we go. And that is excellent right there. Come on! Damn it! Okay, so let's see. Here we go. And come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking Pokeball. Come on. Stay in there. Oh, God. This guy does not want to get captured at all. All right. Actually, hold on just a sec. Let's go with this one right here. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking Pokeball. Come on. Freaking Articuno. All right, Silver Nana Bear. I'm, I'm just gonna try and get him with it, every single berry I got, and that did not work. Oh wow! There we go. Oh. So I don't think those berries work on him. There we go. Come on, in the ball, in the ball. Damn it! <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's go at this again. Yeah, this guy is not taking any berries right now. 
It's gonna be a little difficult for me to capture him right now. Three and never mind. <laughs> Suck it, Articuno. Okay, so Articuno, you are the worst Pokemon to actually try and capture. The worst, because I don't know, you always hated me for some reason. Maybe you just know that Draven's coming and he's ready to capture you. I don't know. But there it is. We captured Articuno. The ice type Pokemon, the freeze Pokemon. Six five or six inches or six thousand. I don't even know. I'm not even going to read that shit. A legendary bird. It freezes water that is contained in winter air and it makes it snow. Alrighty. So it is on our box. We finally captured this Pokemon right here. And Pikachu is looking happy, I guess. Look at that. Sparky's looking at the Pokeball used inside. Alrighty, okay, so partner play. Let's go, let's go. That's right, buddy. It was all you that you captured this Pokemon right there. So, let's go right ahead and uh, try and get the heck out of here now. It is finally time for us to move on ahead right here. And why is Pikachu... Pikachu still wants to play with us. Oh, it looks like he has a present for me. Alright, what is it? And we got ourselves a leaf letter, a letter that written on a leaf, something written using Pikachu's footprints. Alrighty, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Get you get a, you get yourself a belly rub. Look at that. There we go. Alrighty, so we've completed that little section right there. Now it is time for us to get the heck out of here. It really is. And well, we just have to avoid all these Pokemon right here. Now that we can actually move forward, you see, skim. And I believe that we got like two sections taken care of with the stones, right? Nope, nothing right here. Except for maybe some Pokemon. And so, let's go right ahead and get up top right here. Alrighty, so let's see. Going up here. And this one will lead us... Where the heck? Oh, wow. Never mind. Okay, so we're probably going to have to go back... And go back to another section right here, I think. Yeah, just another section. And let's see. Oh, wow, Slowbro is in the way. I could try and capture him right now, but right like, again, I'm just trying to get to Cinnabar Island. All these Pokemon capturings will happen before the Pokemon Elite Four battles right there. And, well, let's see. There is the section that we blocked off. So now we can actually swim into this area. And bam, Pikachu... Being Puka right here. Do you guys remember that episode with Puka? Oh, wow, you can't go through here. Okay, so going right here to this section now. Grab this item. And found ourselves three Ultra Balls. Didn't really need those, but you know what? It, was, it is what it is right there. And there's a good old uh, gold bat right there. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else? Look, we found ourselves another item. And we found ourselves an Ice Stone where you can evolve an Alolan Pokemon. Uh... I believe you can evolve uh, Sandshrew, which we just saw earlier in this episode, or in, earlier in this uh, walkthrough. And I believe Alolan Vulpix. Correct me if I'm wrong. And look at that. We found ourselves a Super Lure. And there is a Slowpoke waiting for us. We're just going to have to run away from this guy right here. And would you look at that. Yep, the exit. Or the entrance, or whatever you like to call it. So, here it is, guys, Route 20, the other section of Route 20, and, well, let's see, let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. I think you guys were waiting for that one. Are you on vacation, too? Probably. Had a sneeze, okay. So, here we go, Picnicker Irene wants the battle, and she will be coming out with her Marowak. Look at this Pokemon, it's looking scary, and here we go, Sparky. Ready to kick butt. Oh my god. It's a ground type Pokemon, but guess what we got? Splishy Splash. Look at this. Splishy Splash takes care of Marowak. I wonder if I wonder if Splishy Splash can paralyze a person. I'm just asking. Simple question right there. And well, she's gonna come out with a gloom, so let's go right ahead and use good old Budkiss right here. Alrighty. I'm gonna try and make these Pokemon awesome. Alright, Budkiss. You're looking like a like a beast right now. Alrighty, alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and use flamethrower right here. And look at that. Okay, flamethrower does its trick. Okay, alrighty. And well, I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna go with Dubasaur. I did not read the other one. 
Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. And take on Dubasaur. Let's see. Copy link. Okay. So, here we have a wiggly tough looking all tough and everything, but guess what? I got myself a pedal dance. Hopefully, it'll do the trick right here. Pedal dance. Nearly takes him out. And, well. Oh, damn. That right there was a, a not a good move, but guess what? Another pedal dance could do it. And there we go. Wigglytuff wins it. Or, I mean, Dubasaur. Yeah. Dubasaur. There we go. And uh, Aaliyah grows to level 32. And we defeated our good old buddy Irene right here. Alrighty, okay. Alright, we got two great balls and all that stuff. And, well, that is pretty much it for this episode right here. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Found ourselves another heart scale, which is great. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Articuno. It should have some pretty great stats right here. And, let's see, going all the way down, as you can see, we got two of the legendary bird Pokemon. Let's go ahead and check the summary right here. And this guy is a bold nature. And it has some pretty good moves. Miracle, Ice Beam, Agility, and Reflect. So it's a very defensive Pokemon. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at its judging. As you can see, it does have some great stats going on to its defense and all that crud. So, yep, that's it right there for this episode right here, guys. So, in the next one, we're going to be heading straight to, I believe, C the Cinnabar Island. We're going to be heading to Cin Cinnabar Island and all that stuff. And, uh... We had to take care of business right over there because we got more Pokemon gym badges to get to. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.